This video for week two of the orientation module is about the series of modules in the Design for Learning program. The program is composed of seven modules, each one building on the last as you work on developing a unit of online instruction for your own library community to be piloted during the capstone module. The modules are designed to take about three to five hours a week, over two to six weeks. Most take four weeks. The orientation and capstone modules serve as bookends to the five key content areas created by our course developers. During each module, you will work in your D4L instructional design workbook, helping you to keep all your work together for a final portfolio. Some of you are watching this video as part of the orientation module. Over two weeks, you are introduced to the learning management system in Web Junction, the structure of the series, other technology you can use throughout the series, and other participants. In the foundation module, over six weeks, Dr. Marilyn Arnone takes you through an overview of the instructional design process with a range of perspectives and terms, including universal design for learning. Then she leads you step-by-step step through a seven-step process to draft an instructional design plan for your own project. In the diversity module, Dr. Lorraine Roy spends four weeks sharing key concepts to help you draft your own definition and expand your observance and practice of diversity as an online learner and teacher. In the community module, over four weeks, Arden Kirkland guides you to explore a variety of social media tools for discussion and interaction in order to consider the importance of social presence and a sense of community in increasing student engagement. In the content creation module, over four weeks, Lori Bell provides resources for learners to develop content with best practices for chunking, storyboarding, layout, scripting, and recording, focusing on screencasts. In the course management module, Samantha Satimio spends two weeks helping you to organize your course materials for an online environment. Considering different learning management systems or LMS alternatives, and planning for communication, assessment, and feedback. Finally, in the capstone module, learners continue to build on the work from all the previous modules to finish all the content for their own online unit and test it with a small group of pilot students. But what if you're not going to go through all of the modules in order? If you come into this program with some previous experience with online instruction, or if you simply don't have the time to go through every module or complete the full capstone project, we still want you to be able to access this instruction as it's convenient for you. You'll still be able to develop part of a project, just the part within a specific module, even if you won't get to develop it as a full project right away. All modules include activities for you to revise an instructional design plan drafted in the foundation module. And we do highly recommend that you go through that module after this orientation, since it is just what it says, a foundation for your other learning. However, all modules will also include alternative versions of activities related to the instructional design plan. Participants who complete individual modules earn a certificate of completion for each module issued jointly by Web Junction and the Empire State Library Network. For most modules, each week of work will count as one contact hour of continuing education credit. The exception to this is the capstone module, which will count for eight contact hours to reflect the effort required to complete this module. If you are a member of Cohorts 1 or 2 for our initial versions of the program and you're returning to complete additional modules, you may notice that the order of the modules and some of their names have changed. The Technologies module has been renamed as the Content Creation module 
and moved to later in the series, after Foundation, Diversity, and Community. The Community and Social modules have been combined into one and have been moved earlier in the series, right after Diversity. Some of the content from the Technologies, Community, Social, and Capstone modules has been moved into a new two-week module called Course Management. We made these changes based on the experiences of members of Cohorts 1 and 2, and we believe they make for a more logical progression through the program.